Welcome to the Magic Marine Daily Show in Porto, Portugal's second city. My name's Andy Rice and joining me today is Ian Goobs Jensen from Australia and Blair Chook from New Zealand. Welcome boys. Thanks. Now today, Thursday, is final day of qualifying for the men in the 49er and it's the first day of Gold Fleet racing for the girls and the FX. For the final three days, for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we'll be running a live online broadcast of the racing with GPS tracking. Now, anything you want to ask us, send us your comments and questions to the 49er Facebook page or tweet us on at Int49er or at Saljuice, which is um, where I am on Twitter. But firstly, boys, I just want to ask about yesterday, Big Wednesday. I mean, that looked absolutely awesome. Let's just take a little look at that video, which has gone viral already on Facebook and, and around the web. So let's just play this out now. This is you, Goobs, with Nath. And just talk us through that moment. Were you aware of what happened there? Yeah, we um, we actually thought we were going to get a, a bit of water down the chute. We, uh, just as we were coming to the top mark, the swell was pretty big. And um, one stood up right in front of us. And we just stepped back and the boat lifted off. And uh, that was about it. But um. And what yeah. do you do? I mean, you, do you worry about anything breaking on the boat at that point? Do you release sheets to try and reduce the impact? Um, oh, you, you sort of, Nathan is the jib, which is good, and I use the main because you know when you land, you're going to slow down, so you have to build the speed again. But um, it's probably not great for the boat when it lands on the back of the hull because it, it makes it a bit softer and probably ages it a bit. But bit of yeah, fun. yeah, bit of fun though, a bit of fun. How about you, Blair? Any, any takeoffs for you yesterday? No, nah, not like that. That was some pretty awesome footage, but um, you know, I think it's quite hard for the cameras to catch everything that happens out there. So no doubt, some other people did some good airtime, but now nah, certainly the swell was pretty big, and uh, on Port Jibe, downwind was really um, quite tricky. And really got surfing, which was it was pretty fun. There's a buzzy bee above us. I don't know if anyone can hear it. It's uh, it's one of the drones that's uh, filming the boat park at the moment. But um, we'll press on, and uh, hope that the buzzy bee goes away a little bit. Just. On the um, on the racing or the sailing yesterday, I mean, it looked like you had to sail uphill on some of those waves yesterday. Have you guys sailed in waves that big before? Uh, not on the 49er, I don't think Pete and I have. No, it's certainly um, you know it's a bit different technique and it's it's uh, it's different. But at the same time, the guys that are normally fast and, and the breeze seem to be going you know quite well, and it's not it's not all it's not all that different. It's just yeah, it certainly adds a different dimension to the racing. And Goobs, do you have to adjust your technique downwind at all in terms of the hoists and the jibes and things? Uh, you just got to have a little bit more awareness. I think you just got to ch check you're not gonna not gonna stuff the bow right before you set the kite. And um, the the time when you pick to jibe, you've got to be at the top of the wave surfing down so you're not caught slow. But um, yeah, you might just have to think ahead a little bit more than than you would normally. Okay. Are you looking forward to more of that later on in the week or a mix of conditions? What what would you favour, Goobs? Um, uh, it was fun yesterday, but uh, I don't mind too much. I, I think um, I think we've been we've been going okay in the light stuff as well. So medium to light seems to be good at the moment. But um, these boys seem to be going pretty quick in the breeze. Okay, but still got a bit of catching up to do. That's been um, the flavour of your regattas lately, hasn't it, Blair? Yeah, I mean we're we're pretty actually pretty happy with how we've started this week. Uh, the first day was really tricky on uh, the. B course and apart from our UFD which I think we scored our fourth in that race we were, we were pretty happy with our day it was it was really tricky like I said and uh, yesterday we went well uh, did a couple of circles in, the, in two of the races so um, now we, yeah we've got a bit of work to do everyone's sailing well and all the good guys are at the front which is um, the first time for a while so it's, it's good to see and uh, yeah it's, it's just exciting to sort of have the challenge ahead of us and um, you know hopefully get today out, out of the way if we get some wind and then the real racing starts, you know, with the, the Gold Fleet tomorrow. Sure. Now, every day we run a big topic of the day. There's a poll on 49er.org, which you can uh, vote for. Your, uh, you can go and see the ones that have already been up there. Pretty controversial ones. Interesting one today, and we got two perfect candidates to ask this question. What would you rather win, three world championships or one Olympic gold medal? Now, Goobs, you've won three world championships and you've won Olympic gold medal. If, if you had to hand one or the other back, which one would it be? The world championships or the gold medal? Uh, you give back the world championships, I think. You, your world championships are all leading towards the Olympic Games, and I think everything you do in the four-year cycle leads towards the Olympic Games. And 
to me, like Tom, Tom, last campaign, Tom Slingsby said something that that, that um, stuck with me a little bit, which is, uh, I'm happy to lose every regatta in this four-year cycle as long as I can win the Olympic Games. Uh, I think that's that's true for for most guys who are aspiring to go to the Olympics. Okay, and Blair, you've not quite won the Olympic gold. You've uh, won the silver, and you won a couple of World Championships. Uh, what, what's the answer for you? Yeah, very similar to what Gooby just said. I mean, um, you know, we've been on a good run lately, but. For Pete and I, everything's about uh, Rio next year and, and trying to win the gold medal, which, you know, these guys beat us to last time, deservingly. And, uh, yeah, it's it's every regatta we do now is trying to get us better for that one next year, and that's all we really care about. And um, why does it matter so much? Why does the Olympics matter so much more than a world championship? I mean, in some ways, it's, you know, the world championships are pretty difficult because you've got so many more good boats there because some countries have more than one good boat uh, in the 49er but just the the Olympics is so prestigious and it's such a such an amazing event and it's got so much history and you know that's what we do it's an Olympic sport and that's what we do it for to try and you know that's that's completely the pinnacle for what we do in the 49er and also I think for sailing all right well tell us what you think uh, maybe you haven't won three world championships and and uh, one Olympic gold medal, but vote online as well and tell us what you think. Now, for, for you guys, that was a pretty easy answer by the sound of it. So I'm going to put another one to you. Which would you rather win, an Olympic gold medal or an America's Cup? Goobs? It's, uh, it's a completely different sort of competition, I guess. Um, they've both got their merits. Um, with the America's Cup, you've got, a, you've got a massive team working towards one common goal, and you're... You're a smaller cog in the machine, whereas in the Olympic campaign, you're sort of, you know, there's there's primarily me, Emmett, Nath, and then there's training partners and everyone like that working towards a goal. So it's, it's a much smaller team. Um, and I think with the America's Cup stuff, you do a lot more of the work before the racing. Like you, if you if you do if you do the preparation right, by the t same as in, in the sailing, but. You don't. If you get there and you're fasty, it makes your life easy in the America's Cup, I'd say. Um, whereas in the 49er, you can get there, and if you have a bad regatta, you're still going to lose it. Um, and to answer your question, I, I don't really know. I've. It's I've a tough been, one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a tough one because I'm, I'm, like, I, you know, I'm doing both campaigns at the moment, and um, it's it's hard to prioritise one over the other, I'd say. You said that you're a, a smaller cog in in a in a bigger system. So from that, I'm going to take that you would actually rather keep the Olympic gold medal because you're a bigger part of it. So you didn't say that. That's just my interpretation. I don't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> it's pretty good if you have 80 people who you've worked four years with who have just come away with the America's Cup as well, though. Yeah, true. So, yeah, great party at the end of it. Now, Blair, what about you? You uh, just embarked on an America's Cup campaign, so it's new territory for you. Tell us. Yeah, it is. It's new. We haven't didn't have the experience like Gooby did in the last in the last one, or you know, um, and we didn't win the gold medal last time. So I think we are in a bit different situation. So you know, for for Pete and I, right now up until Rio, you know, our main focus is on trying to win a gold medal, and um, you know, along the way we're still learning to be part of the new team with Emirates Team New Zealand, and it, it's been really exciting. And uh, like Gooby said, we're only a small part of what is a big big campaign, and it, at the end of the day, we're a small part of what would be winning the America's Cup. So um, that's, that does make it exciting. It means you get that whole team aspect and stuff. But, yeah, I think for Peter and myself, trying to win uh, the Olympic gold next year is, is the most important thing. Now, the, the 49er is, is nearly 20 years old. When it came along, it was one of the most exciting things in sailing. It's still pretty exciting now. But I'm just wondering, does it feel a little bit pedestrian compared with some of the sailing that you're doing in in a moth or in um, some of the, the AC-45s that are now foiling? Just tell us about the experience of getting back into the 49er after sailing some of those boats. I think the uh, 49er, the racing's still really good. I mean, it's yeah, you're not going as fast as sailing the moth or uh, the AC-45 or um, any other sort of foiling boat, but you're still it still feels like you're going fast when you're wiring downwind and you know and the waves out there I yesterday I don't think anyone would have sort of said that it was pedestrian like at all um, and then the, the competition so fierce that you make one mistake and you get punished for it so I think because everyone's sort of pushed and the, the top guys are all so close together that that's what makes it so exciting for me Goops, what about you? Still like getting back in the 49er? Yeah, absolutely um, we've got 
we've spent a bit less time in the 49er uh, this year than or this campaign than we did last time and so every time every time we jump back in there's new challenges and um, there's always stuff to work on now um, and I think the sailing itself like Blair was saying with big waves and a, a boat that that can go nose down it's, you're always on the edge downwind um, and it does feel fast because the boat's jumping around everywhere so whether you're doing 20 knots rather than 40 knots it, it, it's a different feeling um, and uh, I think there's still a, a lot, lot of thrills to be had in the 49er um, and that uh, the racing I think is um, it's it's a, at, a, at a standard where um, it's a lot higher than than you probably get in the Moss or probably in the early stages of the World Series where if, if you make a make a mistake you, you are at the back because everyone's just got it so nailed down at the moment that um you can't like you're not going to fight your way back from from a fifteenth to get get back into the top five. You know, you, you whereas in the moth, I think that's that's pretty possible. Now, in terms of fighting your way back, you were very much the dominant force in the previous Olympiad leading up to Weymouth 2012. But the, this time, it's these boys. It's Pete and Blair that are dominating going up to Rio 2016. What do you need to do to close the gap on these guys? Um, we've been we've been trying to work that one out. <laughs> Got any clues for him, Blair? No. <laughs> what, do you, what do you got? <laughs> Come on, he taught you everything that he knew. Yeah. Uh, one thing, one thing we've, we've we've noticed is when we have a bad day, we, we seem to be getting some really bad results, like uh, high teens, low twenties, and um, like that's different to last camp campaign. Last last campaign, if we had a, had a bad race, it was just around the ten, and so we, we've just got to try and um, in the ones. It seems like the ones where we're in the top five, we can grind away and get a, a really good result still. And that all seems normal, but um, in the ones we're back a bit, we've got to probably we're, we're trying to be better at fighting um, to make sure they they don't blow out our score. There's been a couple of regattas lately where we've had a uh, one day where they've put 30 points on us, and you just can't you can't do that. And Blair, when you are at the top of the tree, and um, it's, it's sort of um, do you run out of inspiration as to as to where you can go faster? How do you keep on pushing forwards? Because you always need to keep on pushing forwards, right? Yeah, exactly. If we don't, if we don't keep getting better, then the other guys are going to catch up. And you know, for sure, we've had a little jump over the last little while, and sort of in a variety of conditions. But in in saying that, if yeah, like if we don't keep getting better, and we got still a bit over a year out, um, then the guys are going to catch us. So we, you know, there's plenty of motivation. There's lots of areas we can be better, and we know that in every regatta, even if we win by 10 points or or 40 po points, there's lots of places we can be better and that that's enough motivation for us and um yeah it's just quite exciting you, you know each day you go sad and still try and be better and better guys thanks very much for joining us being great talking to you um that's it for today's show but coming up tomorrow uh from thursday onwards sorry from friday onwards um we've got some live racing uh going out live online so please do join us for that but for the time being Thanks very much for joining us on the Magic Marine Daily Show.